James chapter 4 verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. I like to share this little piece of information because I notice a lot of people um, repeating things that they're taught to say in church. Oh, the devil's defeated. I'm going to give him a black eye and there's nothing that he could do to me because God's got my back and, you know, all these catchy sayings and the devil should have got me and killed me while he could and now it's too late and all of this, all of these catchy things um, that we're taught to say, we're taught, oh, uh, you know, sometimes we're taught that we're Christians and because we're Christians, we're protected from everything bad. I'm not saying that I'm not trying to say that God would leave us powerless and he would leave us at the enemy's um, uh, feet. He wouldn't leave us um, floundering out here in weakness because the Bible did say that um, Jesus gives us power to tread upon serpents and over all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. But, but there is a contingency. And the contingency is that in order for us to defeat Satan, we must be submitted to God. A lot of us are not submitted to God. That's why we still have things in our life that are battling us that we can't get over. We have people in our life that are giving us a hard time. We have people on the job that are coming against us and we can't seem to get through the problem. It seems that we're praying and it seems that we're fasting and it seems that we're crying out to God, but there just seems to be no answer. There seems to be no change in the situation. What we need to know is that we do have power as Christians and we do have power. Those who have taken on the name of Jesus Christ and have believed that he died for their sins and that Jesus was raised from the dead and those who have gotten the infilling of the Holy Spirit, we do have power. But in order for us to be able to exercise that power, we must first be submitted to God. That means that everything in our life has to be submitted to God. Because I don't know if you've ever heard this, it takes one to know one. So if you have something in you that's not right, then when you try to go against something outside of your realm, outside of your body, and you try to rebuke something outside of your body that's demonic and is not right. So, for instance, if you have um, a child that's acting up and you try to go and rebuke him, you can't rebuke him when there's certain stuff in your character that has not been submitted to God. Because God has to rule every area of our life in order for um, in order for us to walk in the authority that we're supposed to have as Christians. As Christians, we're supposed to be raising people from the dead. We're supposed to be able to heal the sick because Jesus said that we would do what he did and more. We should be able to do greater works. And Jesus healed the sick. He raised the dead. A lot of things that are walking, uh, a lot of sicknesses out here are the, the influence behind them is demonic. But a lot of times we can't do anything about it because we're not charged up. We haven't prayed enough and we haven't surrendered ourselves to God. So when we surrender ourselves to God in fasting and in praying and in giving up that part of us that we've been holding on to, maybe it's been trust issues, maybe somebody hurt us and we have reserved that part of ourselves for ourselves and we don't want to give it over to God. Maybe um, we have a demon of addiction where we we um we get addicted to things very quickly we get addicted to fashions we get addicted to tv whatever it is that part of ourself we need to give over to god and let him deal with us because when we let him deal with us then he causes us to die he causes us to die to our old self and then we can take on more of the new man that we're supposed to be in christ jesus because the bible says that 
he that is in Christ is a new creation, that old things have passed away and all things have become new. So when we're in Christ, we're supposed to be a new creature. We're not supposed to be like we were before. So if you have things in your life that you're praying against, that you're fighting against, and they just don't seem to be moving, remember that the enemy is not going to obey us if we don't obey God. I don't know if you remember or if you know of the sons of Sceva in the Bible where um, the apostles were going around and um, they were casting out demons. And um, so there were the sons of Sceva who went and tried to do the same thing that the apostles did. And um, the demons spoke to them and said, uh, Jesus, I know. Paul, I'm familiar with. But who are you? And then because the demons know who have authority or not, that's one thing we can't play with. So we have to submit ourselves under the authority of God because the enemy, the devil is not scared of us, but he's scared of the God that's in us. The Bible says greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So what happened with the sons of Sceva is they got their butt beat by the person that was possessed with the demons, the demons gave the person supernatural strength and they got their butt beat and their clothes ripped off of their bodies because they tried to mess in a territory and and um, they weren't qualified to go there. So whatever you do, if you want to see things move in your life, if you want to see things come under subjection in your life, you have to humble yourself. The Bible says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and he will exalt you. So humble yourself, get down on your knees and pray. Tell God about it. Submit yourself and your life to God's authority. The Bible says that we're supposed to present our bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. So present your body to him, present your members to him, present your mind to him and submit yourself unto his mighty hand. And you, once you resist the devil, after fulfilling all those requirements, he will flee. He'll flee for a season and he'll come back. But the point is he'll flee and you'll see some movement in your situations. Be blessed.